welcome to the CBS Morning Debrief. It's the 25th of June, 2010. I'm David Kuhn. And in overnight market action, the US skidded lower on uncertainty over the shape of the legislation for the financial overhaul bill. This, uh, this weighed on the financial services sector there and uh, they had a not too different situation in, in Europe, um, certainly a follow-on from yesterday's poor housing data in the States and the general debt and deficit worries reared their, uh, their heads again. So um, let's, uh, let's take a look at what actually happened and we'll just bring up the American indices here to take a look at and the Dow down 145 points at the end of the uh, session or 1.41%. Uh, S&P 500 was I'm just looking at the futures here, that doesn't help much. So S&P 500 down 18, NASDAQ up 36 and the Russell 2000 down 11. Russell uh, 2000 is actually doing a bit of uh, re-weighting, re rebalancing on that index. So we saw a bit of additional volatility and uh, liquidity uh, on, on, as a result of that. Um, Let's uh, move over to Europe, where we saw pretty much everything in the red. Uh, FTSE down 78, DAX down 89, CAC down 86, and the Dow Jones stock 600 down 4.6 points, or 1.83%. Uh, and in our region, local market is now opened and it's traded down 50 points to 4,429, which is down 1.12%. Singapore's off 23, Hang Seng's down 123, and the Topics is down 9.96 points. Okay, now let's have a look at our commodities. So West Texas Intermediate Crude uh, down 16 at the moment to $76.35. Corn at $264 down, uh, sorry, up 25. Oats, $276.25 down 25, 0.25 rather. Rough rice, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a, in a moment, uh, at $10.36, which is uh, 0. Two cents higher. Soy nine hundred and thirteen seventy-five, up uh, one point seven five. Sugar sixteen dollars nineteen, up thirty-eight. And wheat at four hundred and seventy-seven point five was even. Copper is trading at three hundred and two point five cents per pound, which is up ten cents. And gold currently at fourteen thirty-three sixty down $2.30, really doing quite a lot of work around this uh, $12.40, $12.50 level it seems. Uh, silver at $18.75 was down 0 0.02. In our commodities, US dollar was buying Hong Kong $7.77, $1.15 Aussie, 104 Canadian, 1.10 Swiss francs and 67 pence, 89 yen and 81 euro cents. In uh, Aussie dollar terms, uh, we were buying 86.54 US dollars and the euro was buying US 1.23. And for our economic calendar for the remainder of the week, uh, I've got some data out of uh, New Zealand, in fact that would already be out, then out of Japan, uh, consumer price index year on year for May uh, as well, 
which should be a reasonably significant number. Then later on tonight, U.S. domestic product, uh, gross domestic product. Uh, of course, that will be a one to watch. And then over the rest of the weekend, the G20 uh, have their gap best uh, in Toronto. Uh, markets to watch, as I mentioned before, rough rice. Uh, just bring that up. Now there's the price action for uh, weekly price action. And uh, certainly up in uh, at the end of the uh, GFC there where uh, we had people rioting because of food costs, uh, you can certainly see pretty clearly there that uh, rice was up around $24. It's now traded back to near 10. And our warrants desk has issued a rough rice warrant. If you're interested in uh, getting more details on that, then please feel free to give us a call on uh, 02-8267-9003 or you can email me at dc at commoditybroking.com.au. Uh, that warrant is expected to be priced uh, around uh, $1,200, $1,300 US and uh, will be valid through to October 22, so there's certainly the scope for a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things to happen. Obviously, we're going into the Northern Hemisphere uh, summer, and uh, we've uh, certainly seen droughts and flooding rains in uh, in, in recent years. So uh, we uh, we certainly see a lot of up potential upside in this uh, particular contract. So uh, we'll, we'll watch that one. Um, I think that about wraps it up. Thanks for your attention. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.